Check out these mind-boggling tales from ancient Greece where death took bizarre and unexpected turns. Ancient Greeks weren't exactly known for peaceful departures, their stories often involved the most peculiar and outrageous endings. From insults leading to suicides to fatal bouts of laughter, the Greeks seemed to have a knack for the dramatic. Here are 10 of the most bewildering ways people met their demise in ancient Greece. Number 10 is Bupolis's Heartbreak. Hipponax was a poet, or at least that's what the Greeks called him, for lack of a better word. He was also among the ugliest men in history, so it might not be surprising that she turned him down when he proposed to his one true love. After that kind of heartbreak, most would move on and find someone else, but Hipponax wasn't the type of person to take the higher road. Instead, he wrote a series of poems insulting her father, Bupolis, which hit hard enough that Bupolis hung himself. Number 9 is Chrysippus's deadly humor. One day, Chrysippus noticed a donkey eating figs and thought it was the funniest thing he had ever seen because it was struggling with the sticky fruit. This was how Chrysippus ended up dead. He supposedly laughed himself to death since the situation became so amusing after he made the donkey inebriated. Number 8 is Draco's Fatal Fans. According to mythology, Draco's admirers chose to express their love for him while he was at the Aegina Theatre. They then began hurling cloaks, shirts, and hats at him. The way the Greeks expressed gratitude was to rip their garments off and toss them at you. Because of their excessive enthusiasm, Draco's admirers ended up suffocating him totally with their tossed tunics. He was strangled to death by the weight of hundreds of perspiring Greek men's clothes. Number 7 is Heraclitus's Unconventional Cure. Heraclitus, the philosopher, met a bizarre end that left many puzzled. Struggling with dropsy, a condition causing swelling, he sought an unconventional cure, covering himself in cow dung to draw out moisture. Ignoring medical advice, he spent a day basking in the sun under a layer of dung. However, this decision proved fatal when he became immobilized by the thickened manure, eventually falling prey to wild dogs. Number 6 is Thucydides's Untimely End. Thucydides, renowned for his reliable accounts of ancient Greek history, notably chronicled the Peloponnesian War with meticulous detail. Unlike many of his contemporaries, he abstained from embellishing his narratives with myths or rumors. However, his life was cut short tragically while he was composing his magnum opus, The History of the Peloponnesian War. Despite his exile from Greece due to his failure to defend Amphipolis during the war, Thucydides persisted in documenting the events he had witnessed. After that, he was killed. The only information we are aware of is that he was writing a sentence when he was killed and that he was killed while traveling. Even now, his book ends abruptly in the middle of an idea he never got around to finishing. Number 5 is Pyrrhus's Unexpected Demise. Pyrrhus, the fearless Greek general, led his troops into battle, always at the forefront, ready to face death as a warrior. However, fate took an unexpected turn when an elderly woman intervened during a skirmish in Argos. Watching from the rooftops, she witnessed her son engage Pyrrhus in combat. In a desperate bid to protect her child, she hurled a floor tile at Pyrrhus, striking him squarely in the head and causing a fatal injury. Although initially alive, Pyrrhus's fate was sealed when attempts to end his suffering went awry, ultimately leading to his demise. Number 4 is Philitus's Fatal Fixation. In an era where online commentators thrive, Philitus would have been a digital monarch, amassing a trove of rare memes. However, in ancient Greece, he met a different fate, a cautionary tale of obsession with correcting others' mistakes. Consumed by his quest for linguistic precision, Philitus neglected his own well-being, ultimately perishing from starvation while meticulously critiquing erroneous words. His legacy lives on through his tomb, inscribed with a solemn warning about the perils of fallacious arguments and endless worries. Number 3 is Arishan's posthumous victory. Arishan, a skilled pancratiast in ancient Greece, found himself in the final match of the Olympics, engaged in a fierce battle for victory. Despite being trapped in a chokehold by his opponent and enduring excruciating pain, Arishan's determination was unwavering. Encouraged by his trainer's words, he persisted, ultimately resorting to a desperate maneuver that caused his opponent to surrender. Tragically, Arishan's victory came at the cost of his own life, 
making him the first athlete to win the Olympic wreath posthumously. Number 2 is Aeschylus's Tragic Twist. Aeschylus, the renowned tragedian, lived under the shadow of a prophecy foretelling his demise by a divine blow. Expecting a dramatic end, he awaited the intervention of the gods or the collapse of a building. However, fate took an unexpected turn when a tortoise, dropped by an eagle aiming to crack its shell, struck Aeschylus on the head in Sicily. The tragic irony unfolded as his own head broke open instead of the tortoise's shell, fulfilling the prophecy in an unforeseen manner. Number 1 is Empedocles' Immortal Leap Diogenes, in discussing Empedocles, hinted at the philosopher's boastfulness in certain passages. Carefully selecting his words, Diogenes refrained from imposing his opinion on readers, instead presenting Empedocles' own words for interpretation. Empedocles, believing himself divine after performing miraculous healing, gathered followers to a volcano summit, proclaiming his immortality before leaping into its depths. Though he failed to emerge, his audacious act ensured his enduring legacy, prompting reflection on the timeless quest for immortality among historical figures like him.